Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends So I'm just with my brother Ahmed here One of the students at Bradley University That's where we're headed right now for a program pertaining to fasting The health benefits of fasting And uh, what is it exactly? A fast-a-thon? Yeah, it's a fast-a-thon So we're hopefully going to have lots of people And we're all going to break fast together and see how it goes Yeah, so mashallah tabarakallah The non-Muslim students of Bradley and some of the faculty have also fasted today just to see uh, how it feels for a Muslim to fast from dusk sorry dawn to dusk dawn. yes so in today's khutbah I highlighted the importance of our rights upon the earth and mashallah tabarakallah Ahmed was there at my khutbah and he was giving me his feedback regarding what I had to say with what Islam says about protecting the earth and protecting the nature and the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala around you. So I'm just going to ask Ahmed to give you some of that feedback from my khutbah. So you know, earth, this whole entire idea of Earth Day and you know, Earth Week and all that, I thought it was just like an American made up ideology where you should, as America, we need to help the Earth be really good. We need to be at the forefront for helping Earth out, but I never thought that this whole entire idea could also be incorporated so much into Islam. Like, I never really thought about it that much. So, it's really interesting, guys, in the Quran and in the Sunnah, we get all these different ways that we should help the Earth out. And we can actually say that we also contribute to Earth Day. But it's not just one day, it's every day that we are on this Earth that we're doing Earth Day. MashaAllah. So that's basically Wallah, mashallah, jazakallah khairan. Ahmed just summed up my entire khutbah for you. So, like he said, this is not a, an, a Western ideology of, you know, preserving the earth, working to preserve the earth. Rather, this is ingrained in the, the, the very fabric of Islam since day one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes the beauty of the earth, the natural systems that he put into place how we should take care of the earth through the actions of the Prophet Sallallahu we learned this. Alhamdulillah, Ahmed summed up the entire khutbah. But one of the points that I made was, it's not an env environmental issue or this element of the earth being destroyed. It's not something that science is telling you. Rather, morally as Muslims, we need to understand that it is our responsibility. It's a moral element, it's a moral issue that we as Muslims need to take care of the earth that we live on, the animals around us, the human beings around us, making the masjids, the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our worship homes more earth friendly, using less plastic, or subhanAllah, like the month of Ramadan is coming up, there will be bottles half uh, full or half empty everywhere, rather than getting single bottles, you know, uh, possibly getting gallons, for, the, for those who make iftar or for the individuals who come for taraweeh. So these practices will definitely make a difference. So Alhamdulillah in our masjid Ahmed, what did we do with the water problem, the water bottle problem? So we started bringing in jugs instead of all those water bottles because no one chugs down a water, uh, the whole entire jug. So save water, everybody just takes how, how much ever they need, just a cup and you know, it's helping out a lot. Last trash. So. Yeah. So, inshallah, this year we're even, uh, inshallah, this year we're even having a more productive resolution with regards to the whole water issue. Rather than getting sty styrofoam cups, which can't be recycled, inshallah, our masjid will invest in paper cups throughout the month of Ramadan. So, any little action, any little good deed that you dedicate to the earth won't go to waste. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will. Look at it with a sight of mercy, bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. We can't go into the details of the khutbah in this brief snap, but inshallah you got a, a snippet or two, or you got a point or two of uh, regarding what was mentioned in the khutbah, bi'idhnillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspire us to be champions of taking care of our beautiful earth. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us the best of Samaritans in our society and the best of Muslims that we could be. Inshallah, we're headed now to uh, Bradley University to speak about Ramadan, the health benefits of fasting, the virtues of fasting, etc. So we ask Allah to make that a successful event as well.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم